In this video, I'm going to cover pitch square feet, but you can also do the same example in pitch square meters using the same tool. So things like roofs or rake ceilings, both perfect examples. Specifically for this video though, we're going to go through a roof example. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to open this category up. And just a quick mention here that sometimes uh, we do know this often gets quoted out, but nonetheless, we still do think it's really handy to be able to double check the surface area measurements that you're getting back from somebody. And as you're going to see in a second, it's so easy to do. It only takes a handful of seconds. Uh, so definitely something we think is worthwhile just to double check. So here I'm going to grab this top line and I'm just going to change it to say shingles. So again, making sure that it's a square foot, which is excellent. And we're just simply going to click the takeoff tool here. So I'm going to go to my roof elevation plan and I can see right away that there are two different roof pitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to do both measurements separately, but we're going to do it in the takeoff tool uh, and get one single measurement. Now, important to note here um, that Often the pitch or roof calculation comes in the form of rise in run or rise over run, as it does here. But in the build exact system, you'll just need to calculate that into degrees and then enter that figure in for the system to calculate it. So I'm gonna start here with the six, uh, 612 roof pitch, and I know that's gonna be 26 degrees. So I'm just gonna click the pitch tool here, select that angle, and now I'm gonna use the polygon tool. And as we've seen before, I'm just going to go around the required area, uh, clicking in each corner. And again, when I'm done, I'm just going to finish in the green circle here. So I'm just going to change the color to make sure it's nice and easy to see. And now I'm going to change the roof angle for the rest of the roof plan, which is going to be 512. Um, and that will be 22 and a half degrees. And again, using the polygon tool, I'm just going to go back and again, going around and around each corner and again, finishing in the green circle. But now though, I'm gonna turn this label back on because in a previous video, I had switched it off, but by clicking the label here, I can actually see that it has the pitch in it. So common mistake is people will draw it uh, and then they didn't put the pitch in. Um, and really not to worry, you can change it here. It's really, really forgiving. So that being said, I'm just gonna click accept and save and we'll carry on.